Well, a massive solar storm is hitting Earth tonight. It could disrupt communications, but it could also bring northern lights to some areas. KCAL meteorologist Marina Jerica is here to explain the solar phenomenon. Marina. Well, Amy, NOAA has issued a severe geomagnetic storm watch through the weekend, which you can see here. And just like the National Weather Service, which issues watches and warnings that we are all familiar with, the Space Weather Prediction Center monitors space weather conditions. And this is what's happening. So a coronal mass ejection or a CME is going to erupt and all of that solar material is going to arrive at Earth as a geomagnetic storm. So severe watches are rare. This is actually the first watch issued since 2005 and only three storms have been observed since this solar cycle and that began back in 2019. So how do you forecast for these events? Well, you observe active regions on the sun with satellites. So forecasters have seen at least seven Earth directed CMEs from this cluster, which you can see just right here of sunspots. And to give you a perspective, this area looks really small, right? It's 16 times the diameter of Earth and activity looks to continue in this region as we move into the weekend. So it will arrive here any minute and could last through the weekend and potential impacts could be to communication, GPS, power grids, spacecraft and satellites and critical infrastructure operators have been notified. So just like a hurricane or tornado strength map, there is one for geomagnetic storms. So forecasters are calling for a G4 strength right here, which is severe and not only includes power grid issues, but Aurora that can be seen as low as Northern California. So that's the benefit of a solar storm is the incredible Aurora Borealis light show in the Earth's thermosphere, which will be seen in all of these locations, which you can see really nicely in this map. So the red, it's 90% visibility. And then of course it decreases as it heads further down towards the south. So it's just clipping Northern California there, but you can see a huge part of right there along the Canadian U.S. border and all of Canada heading up into Alaska is going to get quite the show over the weekend. So NASA's Sunrise mission, which is launching later this year, is going to try to study what causes these solar storms to help accuracy and prediction for the future. And I was so honored to work with this team and look forward to this launch later on. It's going to help us out so much. Amy, back to you.